I'll show you my new kit. That's the stove portion. We got a modified starlight burner in the center. We have a pot support that matches up with the base of this venom bottle. This is the heavy aluminum bottle. Holds two cups. Got the lid on. And uh, I got my water in there. So let me, uh, let me show you what basically what I'm gonna do. Sure my camera's lined up here. Yeah. I'm gonna carry my two cups of water with me. Yep. This is the windscreen portion of it. Stove portion. Got my starlight burner in the center. I'll be using um, one half ounce of fuel. To heat my water. I only use water at a temperature about uh, 180 degrees is just fine for me for my freezer bag meals. I use Mountain House and uh, let me see here. I'm going to carry my water, two cups. I'm going to have one ounce of half ounce of fuel with a, a lid on that starlight burner. Just take off my lid, carry my fuel inside the starlight, and I'll be ready to go. So this setup involves my two cups of water, self-contained. Going to have my windscreen. Gonna go over like that. It's going to snap in place like that. I'll be able to carry my water, my stove, my windscreen in one compact package. That's basically what what I wanted to show you. If I just want to use uh, alcohol. Uh, at different uh, times, I could just take it out of my bottle, pour it in there, set my bottle of water on there, light it, put my water on there. I got my water in there. Two cups worth. I'm good to go for my Mountain House Meals. Tomorrow I'll do a video with Actually on Fire. Gonna uh, heat some water up. Then when I'm ready to pour the water in the freezer bag, I'll be able to pick it up like so. Because the bottom portion remains cool. And then I'll be able to pick it up have my freezer bag filled with food. I'll be able to pick it up, hold it like that, pour it over into the freezer bag. So I just want to give you a quick, uh, quick view of that setup. Tomorrow I'll do a video showing you how I pour the hot water inside of a freezer bag. See you tomorrow.